What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Rest Hold Podcast. Episode 25. 25. The quarter century mark. Yes, sir. The boys don't stop. We do not. The never. show, as always, brought to you by us, Tanner Fred and me, Zach Foreman. Tanner, say what's up. Day one. Day one. Coming soon. New Year's evil. Coming soon. Coming soon. Less soon, but still soon. Soon to be here. Here. Before we get in. Couple announcements. To the weekly episodes. To the predictions. Let's talk first. Just just podcast yeah. announcements. If you guys are new here, consider liking and subscribing down below. Yes. We're on social media. So all of our links and everything are in the description. Mm-hmm. Doing, you know, prediction episodes for every pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Pretty much recap just the world of wrestling every week. So yes. that's something that's interesting to do, please consider yeah. following along. Like, subscribe, share the video, tell a friend. Uh, we do fun events. Big one coming up. Mostly the Might Royal well, Rumble. Might as well talk yeah. about it. So if the Rumble, uh, we'll have an official post on our social mm-hmm. media stuff on Friday. So tomorrow, for anybody yep. watching on debut day. Um will be like a $20 buy-in. You get a number for the men, for the and, men and the women. Yep. It will, we'll probably do like you get separate roles. Yes. So like you pay $20 and you get like 15 for the men and like 18 for the women's. Right. Um, if the person that comes out of that spot wins, you'll get a prize. It will be announced on Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, also, if that person doesn't win but has the most eliminations, you will get a T-shirt of that person. Yes. That we will buy and send to you. The superstar with the most eliminations, if that falls on your draw, if that person also happens to win, double prize, congratulations. Double prize. But if the most eliminations is your draw, you will receive the t-shirt of that WWE superstar. So, a little fun event, fun to get into. More details to come this Friday. This Friday. So, outside of the ring, outside of the, the brass, brass ring, ring even. the news, Some breaking... An hour or two ago, yes. if even that. As of Wednesday, December 29th, Tony Storm requests her release from WWE. Shame. It's a shame. shame. She's talented. Really good. I got to know what went wrong. I mean, what went right? You're, I mean, what went right? Yeah. Well, look, I understand that it wasn't the, the push to the top right away, but you were just in the main event with Charlotte Flair. I, mean, I guess, but you weren't even going to be on the pay-per-view. I mean, Neither is Charlotte Flair. I guess. That's fair. I don't know. I don't know. I understand both sides. Like, I get, like, yeah, you're still kind of new. So, like, I, I can't expect too much. But at the same time, like... It's not like you were getting misused on NXT either. No, no. On NXT, really you were doing great. Yeah. So, like, less than a year of, of being around and you were already facing Charlotte Flair? Yeah. I don't know. So, it must have been something else. It's got to yeah. be something else. Yeah. I'm sure that'll come out. Could just be personal. I don't know. Could, just could be. be. Could be. I'm not happy here. I want to go. Or, whatever. Yeah, whatever it may be. But... Wish her all the best. Yeah, she's talented. We're, yeah. uh, you know, if you're friends of the pod, here. you know how high we are on Tony yeah, Storm. She's really good. So, unfortunate, gonna be missed. Yeah. It's good talent to lose. Yeah. It's a lot. I mean, it just seems like WWE keeps coming. WWE just and keeps coming. And apparently more releases potentially on the way. <sighs> unfortunate. But we'll see what happens. We'll cover it yeah. as it continues. You guys can uh, check in on the Rest Hold Podcast Twitter, Instagram. We'll be uh, breaking that news as it happens. Yes. So. Yes. You know, stick our around. Sor- when our sources let us know. Yeah. Finger on the pulse of the company, you know? <laughs> um, also, this is old news, but we did say it. Kyle O'Reilly is all elite. Yes. Adam Cole tweeted that the game has changed. In fact, it's New Game Plus. The game is the same as it was two years ago. Mm-hmm. Now it's just in a different company. Yeah, so the game hasn't changed. Um, everybody saw this one coming. Miles, of, miles away. Uh, is it a big signing? I mean, I don't think so. No. I, I don't consider it nearly the level of, you know, the other signings that they've had. Like Daniel Bryan, Adam Cole. CM Punk. Yeah, like Kyle O'Reilly, sure. I mean, if he's your cup of tea, he's your cup of tea. Yeah. So not not a bad signing. No, there's not worse, at all. There are worse there, wrestlers. There are definitely worse but, wrestlers. But, I mean, it's not like. I don't think it's a. It's yeah, a, it's not, it's not a shaking message. the foundation. No, no. You know? It's um, stuff we've seen for the past two years. I know people are like, well, I didn't watch NXT. It's not going to be that much better. Mm-hmm. Like, cause the Golden Prophecy yeah. gimmick was really, really good, and they're not going to do that in AW. Yeah. They're just not going to do it. No. So, um, I don't know. They did say, which has me a little uneasy. Meltzer said it looks more and more likely that Gargano 
is leaning towards AEW. Really? Not sure where that comes from. I'm not sure what basis, but you know, Meltzer seems to know his stuff. <laughs> He's yeah, been no, doing no, it for a he while. Does. He does. But at the same time, I just I just don't know why. I don't see the logic. I I mean I get I mean I'm not in their head. I don't know what their priorities are. They don't necessarily travel as much. I mean, I and guess. John, and Johnny's having a kid. But he's a made man in NXT. Guaranteed money. Guaranteed mm-hmm. job security. Guaranteed yeah. on TV every no, week. I don't I mean nobody in NXT in WWE is guaranteed job security anymore. But I mean, if in NXT, him and Champ are the closest two people to you will not be fired. Yeah, you're probably right. So I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't know that's depends on what your priorities are. Yeah, depends on what the perks are going to each place. I don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, we'll see what happens, yeah. but. That would be, not that he's with the company now, because he's obviously no, he's not, not, but, but that is a that is a bigger loss than O'Reilly. I also feel like, I mean, I don't know what Candace's contract looks like, yeah. but it feels weird to... Uh, leave your wife? Not just leave, like, but you're going to be traveling separate now. Yeah. With NXT, like, you guys are traveling together all the time, you're going to the same places. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Especially because the Capitol... Well, NXT doesn't move. No. They're always at the Capitol Wrestling Center. Right. So, I don't know. That's, yeah. That feels weird. Well, I'm thinking... My train of thought was, if he's going to the main roster, he's going to be traveling a lot. Yeah, I guess. So if he goes to AEW, he travels a lot less. Maybe, I guess, the, there was never an offer to stay in NXT. Yeah. That could be it. Like, your no. time is up. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Speaking of pregnant women, <laughs> by way of China, by way of Candace, briefly, Lacey Evans, hinting the comeback. Really? I did not see that. Yeah, uh, on Twitter, it, talking about... It's been a while. Tell him I'm has, on my has, way. It has been a long time. Yeah. That will that could be a rumble. I would lose my mind for Lacey to return at the Rumble. That'd I be, am a huge Lacey That'd Lacey's be a big Evans jump fan. for the women's division. Yeah, she's great. And Very hopefully good. this time it pays off with a title run because she was right there at the cusp, deserving of it. That'd be a dark horse to win the Rumble. Yeah. That would be. That'd be, a, that'd be a good buy-in. Yeah. That'd be a good person to get on your could, buy-in. Could get could you be you. Could get <laughs> could you eliminations. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's kind of the news for the week yeah i haven't seen too much else really it's It's a slow week obviously i mean the the time in between christmas and new year's is like limbo slow for everything smackdown's not even having a show Uh, yeah you know they're having a best of yeah they're doing a best of 2021 on fox sports i mean at the same time like i i I don't love it but i get it what are you gonna go against the bowl games you're gonna go to the bowl games and new year's yeah Yeah. like it's probably best idea to be like hey if you have if you missed stuff here you go like Although, yeah. um, it is, I don't know. It's tough, but I get it. Business yeah. sense makes sense. Yeah. So that brings us to Saturday, right? Well, we want to do Tuesday oh, first. Oh, yeah, let's do Tuesday first. Let's do New Year's Evil. So getting into the um, our overall records, this oh, being the last one yes. of the year before the, the season resets, per se. So Tanner did his due diligence. Yeah, he took, went back, found a while. our predictions from the, the very first week. Money in the Bank was the very first. Money in the Bank preview was the very first episode. I feel like I've been really hot. I had Survivor Series when I went over, mm-hmm. but that seems like it was my only bad one. So your record currently, oh boy. as it stands, is thirty two nine and one. Wow. The end one being Bianca losing yeah. be- to but, Becky yeah. because we couldn't predict. Yeah. It. Finger on the pulse. Thirty two nine and one. Wow. <laughs> Let's see it. My record. Mm. Thirty one ten and one. Wow. Wow, this is so huge. These are these are big predictions this here is for the uh, the rest told little okay. competition here. Yeah, so we're gonna have to keep this going now that yeah. we got it. I'm so I was shocked at how many we got right. I mean, especially because I yeah. got almost all of War Games wrong, and I got almost all Survivor Series. Yeah, wrong. you were two and four Survivor yeah, Series. Yeah, bad. That one hurt. That war, that one hurt you. War Games hurt me. Yeah. There's another one that I we didn't do well on. Well, I, I swept what. War Games. That helped. That's that helped big, you, and then yeah. we swept. Both of us together, between uh, TakeOver 36 and SummerSlam, we yeah. got one wrong at a 15. Yeah, that's big. So that was really good for us. Yeah. But that was like half of our right guesses. Yeah, right there, you know? but, uh, you know, not to pat ourselves on the back too much, we do this thing, I mean, we watch wrestling three a times, lot. four times a, a week. Like, we're reading wrestling, we're talking wrestling, so... We kind of have been watching long enough, yeah. especially WWE. You can see where you can, it's going. You see the patterns. Yeah, the patterns emerge. They every now and then they'll pull the rug out on you. Like for day one, I don't really. There's a lot of day one that I, I don't know. Exactly, I don't know. So we'll get to that, but uh, instead, let's hop right into New Year's Evil. New Year's Evil. Well, obviously, this is actually an interesting one as well. Yeah, there's a lot that could happen here. 
Um, Which so, is great. This is, this is exciting. So first, I don't know if it's a match or not, per se. I know last night's episode, mm-hmm. good episode, by the way. Watch it if you haven't seen it, NXT this week. Mm-hmm. NXT's good. Right yeah. around their pay-per-views, they're very good. Very good. Um, right before and right after their pay-per-views are, are it, definitely yeah. their best shows. They bring it. Um, so Grayson Waller, AJ Styles. Yes. AJ Styles said, I'll be at um, New Year's Evil. Like, I'll see you there. Grayson Waller, you want to see me at New Year's Evil? I'll be there. Like, is that a match? Or are sounds they just like it sounds like a match to me. Right. So if it is a match, well, let's predict it as it's okay. As it's, if it's a match, and then worst case. It's so not. let's say Grayson Waller, AJ Styles is a match. Mm-hmm. Who do you got? I think Grayson Waller, for a few reasons. Uh, really, one main reason. Mm-hmm. Winning does nothing for AJ Styles. Yeah. If you lose, you're still AJ Styles. Mm-hmm. Losing destroys Grayson Waller. I may be looking too far into this. Mm-hmm. And this is bringing in stuff that's not even relevant to the show. Like not, I mean, NXT. wasn't on NXT. Just from Twitter. Omos says, AJ Styles looks like he's still got a little pep in his step. We'll see how long that lasts. Now, I know AJ and Omos had their own thing on Monday. Mm-hmm. But do, they do I... Day one? Uh, no. Okay. So that's... Okay. I'm about, I had heard that somewhere. What I'm saying is, do I look too deep into this and think like, Omos comes down to NXT 2... And that's Grayson Waller gets away with like uh, just beating the you know beating up AJ Styles. I definitely don't think it's clean, no yeah. matter how it happens. Mm-hmm. My only concern with p- picking Grayson Waller is he loses because he chair shots him. Yeah, that's my one concern with picking Grayson. Yeah, but I think if it's a match that ends in a pin, yeah, I think Grayson Waller wins. Yeah, I'm gonna go. And I think for your reason exactly is why I'm going AJ Styles because I wow, don't okay. think it's going to be clean at all. Mm-hmm. I think that if this is a real match, which I still don't know mm-hmm. if it is, it's going to be a DQ and a- and Grayson's going to lose because of that. Like he's just going to cheat his way to like, okay. DQ his okay. way out, something like that. Yeah, that was my one concern with like, well, this could end this way. But other than, yeah, yeah. I mean, I it just seems like what you said is like. You can't really lose if you're Grayson Waller. That yeah. buries like all the hype that you have. Like, yeah. Nobody on the main roster is going to care about you now. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, it's like if you beat AJ Styles, you. This is you a really weird AJ comparison. Um, do you remember at WrestleMania 25 when Jericho like fought all the legends? He fought like Ricky Steamboat. He fought. Uh, I think. Okay. Like, yeah. 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 If you. This is, has, like, a similar feel to it, where I feel like at some point he's going to get, like, his cahoots from all of them at the yeah. same time. Right. I don't know if yeah. this is it. But he hasn't really... Uh, you're right. No, I, he, he might come He's taken out the establishment, the, the yeah. black and gold establishment is yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. I mean, I don't think this is it. I think it's too early in the story for that. Absolutely. But I feel like this is similar direction. And I think that this is going to be used to take Grayson Waller to the main roster. I think this is a test match. Mm-hmm. 100%. See if he's ready. To see yeah. if he's good enough. I mean, and what better guy to go against? That's what I'm saying. I think they're like, well, AJ's not really doing anything right now. and It's the same as how they had like NXT numbers. theory wrestling guys. like yeah. know, First Adam Cole, then yeah. he goes wrestles Finn and things like that. Mm-hmm. Like you got to see that these new guys that you like can go. Yeah, I think that I think that's exactly what this is. Is I don't. I mean, I'm, this might be looking a little too mm-hmm. too far ahead or jumping a little too much, like jumping the gun a little bit too much. But this could be like, is he ready to be in the rumble too? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know. But just a little sidebar um, about Grayson Waller. He hit his finisher on Odyssey Jones last night, and Odyssey Jones had one of the best sells I've ever seen. He just, like, dead fish, like, jumped up, foo, and, and he's a big boy, so, you know, yeah. when he's hitting the mat, it, it looks good. So, credit to that, but uh, moving on. Yeah. It, who's your official pick, AJ? Yeah, AJ. Okay. Via DQ or something. Not clean. We'll be tied up after that, man. Um, <laughs> Riddle and MSK versus Imperium. This friends is, this friends of the one. pod know that, that co-host Tanner over here, Nostradamus, was calling for this calling as this. soon as yeah. they announced That's Riddle. what I'm saying. Like Once you see yeah. the patterns, you can kind of read between the lines a little bit. Yeah. As soon as it's Riddle, I was like, okay, well, they're Imperium. Yeah. Like, all Imperium. Yeah, he called as soon as he saw Riddle as the Shaman. Well, maybe the week after. He was like, it's going to be Imperium. Once he was still with them, yeah. I was like, okay, this is Imperium. Yeah. And this match is going to be insane. It's going to be bad for the night, I think. Uh, I'm holding out for one other match. The main event? No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, I know Shaman. Yeah. yeah, but this is this is going to be a really good card. This is going yes, 
absolutely let's put that out there. It's gonna be very the week good. the weakest match again, unfortunate, it's the women's match. But yeah. this match is gonna deliver. Yeah. Walter and Matt Riddle on their own would probably be a five star match. Hundred percent. Like those Depends two guys. On his yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> five out of ten, yeah. five out of five, what are we doing? But uh, you know what I mean. It would be a phenomenal match. Those two guys would crush. Yeah. And now you're adding in four other very talented wrestlers. If, very talented. If they do this right, I mean... I, Who you got? Yeah. Because I went first on the last one. And for this close, okay. I can't just be giving you all my okay. answers first. Okay. All right. You can't have the Raw champion take the pin, right? You can't have the Raw tag team champion get pinned. No, so Riddle's um, not getting I don't think pinned. Riddle or Walter will be pinned. And I don't think the titles could get pinned either. So I think MSK loses. Okay. The only, my only concern, my only concern is that MSK is very good. They all, we all know they're very good. They can pin one of the members of Imperium to get to a title match. That's what I think is going to happen. And I don't know if it's going that direction or if it's going similar to what we just said. MSK, time to go, tag division. No, I don't don't think so. I don't think so. I think... It would be more likely For the other way. Imperium to go? All of Imperium to go. Yeah. I think what happens, because I think they're going to lose to Riddle mm-hmm. without losing, being pinned by Riddle kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Where, like, Riddle hits the move that matters, yeah. but then tags out for an MSK win, like, like a splash or something. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I think MSK wins. I could I think otherwise the feud doesn't really go anywhere. The feud that's does it. end the if feud Imperium if dies. I mean, I didn't get my official <laughs> selection yet. Oh, no, it's fine. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going MSK. Oh... I just feel like with the five weeks of build to the Shaman, they're not going to have him lose right away. So I'm also going MSK, but I want... You have to actually pick first on the next No, one. I have to pick first. <laughs> but my reasoning is a little bit different. Like, the feud obviously continuing, but I do think that the build for the Shaman, like, you can't have all that just to come out and lose. Because then it's like, what's the point? Yeah. Although... Yep. If it if the finish has anything to do with Walter, Walter's winning. So hundred percent. So if Walter's in the ring at the end of the match, just know it's he's not losing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. That's gonna be an insane match. Very very good. Let's, now let's get that one. Let's do the women. Okay. Let's, do the, let's women. do the women's. We got Mandy Rose, Raquel, and Cora Jade. And now I think this one, I, we're actually probably gonna have the same pick on this one. Um, I'm going Mandy. I'm going a, re- a retention here. Yeah, me too. And I'm going. Over Raquel, so let's do that. You want to? Do oh that? no, I completely agree. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I completely agree with that. Cora can't get pinned. I Cora, think Raquel's time here is done. Yes, I do think that this is actually Raquel's farewell. Like I hope so because she dominated we, as champion. Funny. We talked about. Yeah. I actually was when I was going back looking through mm. this. We made this analogy when mm. Raquel was, had her first title defense against Dakota. Yeah. Don't we can't have her become EO. No, because Io should have left yeah. when she lost. Yeah, so this is the time. You know, you you do your job for Cora, you do mm-hmm. your job for Mandy, and then you move on to bigger, better things. And because she's literally tied up all of her feuds, so yeah, she finished. Really she's left. finished with Dakota. She was a dominant champion. Mm-hmm. Now she's got her re- technically her rematch that she didn't get before, yeah. and now that's it. That's it's it. over. That's all of it. Yeah, and. That leaves the door open for what they look like they want to do, which is Cora and Mandy one on one, or at least save Cora so when she comes back for the next opportunity, she didn't get pinned. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going Mandy. Yeah. Ma- you got to pick a first again for a hard one. Okay, like, I'll yeah. pick. No, I'll pick again. Yeah, the next one. You want to do? Nah, let's do the next. This one then. Yeah. Okay. So my this, predicted match. Of I the forgot night. about this match. There's so many good matches. This is a very good card and. When I say the women's match is going to be the worst, I'm not saying it's going to be bad because you know Mandy's pretty good. She's she's pretty good. Yeah. Core is pretty good, yeah. and Raquel is good. Raquel's so, really good. So like they'll be fine. It'll yeah. be an okay match. Yeah. Um, but this match, my match. My only concern with the other match mm-hmm. is going to be similar to War Games is timing. Is yeah. Too many can spots. you do stuff in the off time? Yeah. What can you do in the off time? Yeah, yeah. Because the hardest part of those kind of matches is when there's more than two people. Yeah. So absolutely. what can you do in that time? Right. But in a triple threat, it's a little easier. I it's guess. just no triple threat ever started good ever. No, never. They never do. Other than Brock just suplexing Cena and Seth, yeah. everything was no triple threat started good. Mm-hmm. So we'll see where it goes from there. You know what would be interesting is on 
NXT this week, they kind of feuded for no real reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe Mandy just slides out and let them be for a little bit. That's maybe. a fun start. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. Um, but anyway, now, my match, my predicted match of the night. I don't think this is a hot take. I no. think many people agree. Yeah. Roderick Strong versus Carmelo Hayes in a title unification bout. The North yeah. American champion and the Cruiserweight champion. Yep. And I'm just going to get out there. I'm going to give my pick. It's Roderick Strong. It is Roderick Strong. I know that this seems like a hot take. You can't have Carmelo lose. You can't have the A champion lose, especially to the Cruiserweight champion. But I think there's going to be a little bit more to it. I think there's going to be a little bit of a distraction. You got the whole diamond mine out there. I actually don't even know who the heel is in this feud, if I'm being honest. because they, they both have... They're both heels. Yeah. Um, and I think, and this is my reasoning for it, is I think Carmelo Hayes is already next man up for the big belt. So I think you take that, you put it on Roddy, you get the diamond mine some credibility, you keep the leader of the diamond mine strong, and then Carmelo goes on already to bigger things. It'll be an insane match, though, regardless of the outcome. And judging by your reaction, you disagree. I don't... Yeah, I mean, I, I think Carmelo's going to win. Mm-hmm. My pick is definitely Carmelo. Mm-hmm. Um, your reasoning did, you know... Sway you a little bit? It definitely did make me reconsider for mm-hmm. a moment. But uh, I just think if Carmelo loses and then just goes to whoever will be NXT champion at the time, um, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of his like his character right now. Yeah. Because his whole thing is, this is the A championship. Whatever champion I have is the A championship. Right. So for him to just like forget about that belt and move on doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Mm-hmm. I can understand, like, he can say it as many times as he wants, it's not the A championship. Right. So, I don't know. I think maybe... We get a third member of Carmelo's little group. Maybe puts him over the edge to beat Roddy. Don't know who. I could see them doing something like that. Trying to even the odds a bit. I don't know. But I don't know who it would be. I have no idea who it would be. I don't even know if that will happen. But I, I, I think I think Carmelo could win. I don't, I don't know what... It's hard to bet against Carmelo. Like My thing is, I don't think... This is going to sound crazy, yeah, yeah. but I don't think Roddy really winning the North American Championship elevates where he is that much. He's already such a mainstay in the main feud picture okay. that having that belt, I don't think, does that much more for him. Counterpoint, does losing your belt damage you, though? As the leader of the Diamond Mine, like, your strongest member is Roddy. Yeah. And then he lost to Carmelo. I understand that, but he also just got smoked by Braun. But it's Braun, and they. But it's, view okay, Braun but you're losing to a champion. You're yeah, still they, losing to a champion. Right. They view him in a different caliber, though. No, a hundred percent. So, a hundred percent. I mean, all. If I'm being honest, all signs point to Carmelo, and like the reasoning I gave, it just seems like this could be the match where they divert expectations a little bit because I do think that the easy answer is Carmelo Hayes wins because I, I mean, the A champion. Yeah. The whole gimmick is Melo don't miss. Melo mm. does this like. He's very good. They clearly like him a lot. Everyone likes him a lot. But I think, and my only concern is, what, what does he have, one successful title defense? Who, Carmelo? Yeah. He's only, yeah, yeah, he's one. one. Uh, was it Loomis, right, or something? No, no, no. He won the triple threat. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So that's a big one, actually. Yeah. The triple threat. Um, but I, do you, does that matter? Do success, I don't know. Do successful title defenses I don't think matter? so because in NXT they don't defend that much. No, and they, they do don't. a lot of like weird defenses. Yeah. Like it's not just like pay-per-view, pay-per-view, pay-per-view. Yeah. So I don't think that's as impactful in NXT as it is on main mm-hmm. roster. This is not a no DQ or anything either. This nope. is just a normal just a match. match so. yeah. I think that's the hardest one. There's no play. way they... There's no way WWE just has Diamond Mine interfere and neither... And the, the belt no, stays separate. No, you said you still lose. Oh, so... But, oh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, champion's advantage. True. I don't know how that don't works know how that would a unification yeah. match if there is a champion's advantage. Right. I would assume there is. My thing is, I think they're getting rid of the Cruiserweight belt. It's just, it seems No that matter way. what, we, I think that's yeah. disappearing in some capacity. Yeah. I mean, I'm not changing my answer. I'm sticking with okay. Roddy, yeah, no. but 
I just yeah. this one is probably the match where I'm most like unsure. Yeah. I, actually, I'm unsure about the the main event as well. I'm not. You pretty confident. Go ahead, bring us into it. I think it's Braun. I think it's time. It's so. I think mm-hmm. if he loses again, he's done. He's well. There's, I mean, he's not done. No, but, no, but you know what I mean. It's a tough road back. You can't. He's not next man up. He's not next, next, next man up. Right. It's a long road back if you right. lose again, and. I mean, I feel like this is going to be he learned. It was a teachable moment in the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, he learned. And now won at War Games. This conversation about Braun winning, because I, I was on the fence. I didn't really necessarily think, like, oh, he has to win. But now that you're saying it, he definitely has to I win. Think he has to win. And it's making me think that Carmelo has to win. Because that's the angle they're going to go with, which is the two of them. I'm the A champion. No, I'm the A champion. Like, because I think you can even have them have a match, not even not, like a unit. Yeah, no, just, just a champion versus yeah, champion, just yeah. wrestle, and that's a whole feud in itself. Because yeah. Carmelo's sitting there telling everybody how, and that's, it is. gives you time to, because especially because like they have a lot of time in between pay per views. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even know what their next one will be. I, I think they do one a quarter. They do the big four, right? Well, but they do the TV ones too. Yeah, like this is a TV one. They yeah. did Halloween Havoc, they Great American Bad. Yeah. But the takeovers are... I one. think the bash is the next one, right? Or is that in the summer? That's summer. So is Mania their next one? Their next takeover their seven will be their next they one? They don't do Royal Rumble? I don't think so. Well, they're well, definitely this not is, This is the Rumble yeah. one. So I don't know, uh, but... I, I don't wa- want to oh, change... Oh, when is In Your House? That wasn't too long ago, was Isn't it? that the summer and bash, like April, May? Maybe that. Maybe that. Whatever it is. I but. thought a Great American Bash was closer to July 4th, though. That does make sense. Um. Anyway, know. not important. Makes me want to change my answer. I'm not going to, in the interest of our records here. But no, no, pick what you think is going to happen. I do think now that we talked about this, if you can change. We have it. We're, I think we'll have enough. Very. If they pick what you think is going to happen. No, I'm saying like I think Braun wins. Makes me want to change my. So change to Carmelo. Answer. Don't just pick for the record. Pick no, what I you know. Think's gonna happen. And just just talking about that with Braun winning, I do think that means Carmelo has to win. Mm-hmm. Lock it in. Yeah. What's, what's your pick? Yeah, I'm going with Carmelo and Carmelo Braun. Carmelo and Braun. All right. Um, I mean, Champa, I don't know what's next for him. I, so that throws out a monkey wrench, right? Because he's not going to leave. No. Like, he's definitely not done. No, he has another year because he signed that extension. I wouldn't mind if Champa just went on, like, a tear of just beating up the new guys. Just, like, old veteran, like, feels like he's getting squeezed out. He could go to Grayson Waller. Yeah. That, yeah. That could be next man up. And then you don't need the title. Grayson Waller carries the the feud by just being, you know, the heel. Yeah. Um, this match is also going to be very good, though. Yeah. Braun and Champa. Like I said, this card is really good. The card is stacked. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Which is crazy because they, two, they how good two point oh is. Yeah. They kind of threw it together too. Like, yeah. It did come together quick. Yeah. So other than Braun and Champa, everything else is kind of kind of the quick. last two weeks. But. Very excited. Yeah, no, it's gonna be yeah. very, very good. Two point is good, man. They got a lot of good guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how people can complain. I really don't. Like yeah. you see it online, people are like, "Oh, I don't really love 2.0. Like, well, then what wrestling do you like? Yeah, because two point delivers. It's got the the entertainment value, the character gimmicks. The, some of the people I don't like, I agree. Like, I, I don't, definitely think there's Harland is not it. Harland there's is a, not there's it. A, there is a bit of a gap, right, between some of the talent. Like you, mm-hmm. you know who their guys are. Yeah. But, but those guys are, those guys are good. There's the middle of the pack guys though too, like Andre Chase and Ozzy and, Jones, like yeah, those Cameron guys. Grimes, Duke, Duke uh, yeah. yeah, those like, are those are good. They're, they're good. good still. Yeah. So like you don't have to love everybody. Not everybody needs to be the med, the Even ready like, made. Solo Sequoia, Boa. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah Solo. Like, Solo's, Solo's, Solo's very, very good. Solo's very good. good. Joe Gacy's. I yeah. know you don't love his gimmick, but he's pretty good. Yeah, and you don't need to be like main roster ready right away. This That's is someone point. that uh, we have an argument with a bit. Yeah. Of, with somebody not everyone has to be the best yeah no you, you have to have good that, guys you need, you need people that are pretty good yeah you need your mid card because yeah. if everyone's the top guy then everyone's complaining why isn't this guy the top yeah. guy it just doesn't work that yeah. way and even if everyone is it also just depends on who's hot right Kevin Owens just as an example he got hot he got hot the he perfect was... example is I, I know he's very good yeah but Daniel Bryan oh yeah is the, is the example forever yeah he was very good, but he wasn't a top guy, but he got hot. He got hot. He got hot at the right time, and he went to the moon. He changed his entire career trajectory by in getting hot at the f- right six time. six months. Kofi Mania. 
Kofi Mania is another one. That's you just got to be one. hot. So yeah. like Kofi, Kofi Mania, had, Kofi had one good match and yeah. it put him to the moon. Yeah, exactly. That's all it takes. So again, mid card guys are important, and then if they get hot, they get hot. They get hot, and then they're hot shot to the top. Yeah. So NXT 2.0, relax a little bit. Yeah. Relax with the hate yeah, online. Yeah, they're good. It's good. And also understand, like, they're it's, young. It's still developing. A lot of them are young. Yeah. Some of these guys, like, they're coming. They've never wrestled a day in their life. Yeah. So, like... You yeah, understand, a lot of these guys weren't indie people. Yeah. Like, I know some of them were. Like, a lot of the people on this list, uh, some of them, like, the newer... Uh, yeah. The newer top crop, I would say. Like, I know Carmelo was. Mm-hmm. Some people like that. But, like... But Braun? Braun wasn't. You're from a wrestling family, but, but it doesn't mean doesn't you're a wrestler. Mean, yeah. So, you just gotta learn it. Yeah. Grayson Waller didn't, as yeah. he loves to tell everyone. Mm-hmm. Like, as he loves to I know tell um, her, the yeah. new girl, what is her name, Trippie Stratton? Yeah. Like, she's athletic. You can tell she, she still needs to, yeah, like... for her debut match last night, not bad. I mean, you can tell... She's athletic. You, you can, can tell t- she's still a little uncomfortable. Right. But that's what this is for. Yeah, and that's developmental. That's the point of this. But most of them, you can't deny the fact that they all have character. Yeah. Like, Odyssey Jones, big, very green, great character. And that's the one thing that um, I think they did really well from going from the breakout tournament to 2.0, mm-hmm. like, especially with Duke Hudson, Under Chase, guys like that. Yeah. You might not love their character, mm-hmm. but they went from generic wrestler number one, two, and three to they have a character. Under if you don't love it, they yeah. gave them something to sink their teeth into. Exactly. I mean, we probably said it the last, I don't know, maybe not last week, but a, the prior we've had plenty of four times. weeks. Like, Andre Chase was very unlikable in the yeah. tournament. Like, the the ace, like, whatever Awful. he was doing, terrible. He came back with Chase U. It's must-see TV. He's, he's, he's probably hilarious. like one of our favorite characters yeah, in NXT. He's hilarious. Yeah. But, you know, that's just a, a little side discussion about uh, the state of 2.0, 2.0 because the card is so stacked. Yeah. So just give them their flowers, as yeah. people like to say. Yep. But now... Moving on to day one. The main we roster. We the ones. Day one, where I don't know... Anything this I feel so, like uneasy about these predictions i don't know who i think is gonna win okay i know one i got one but i don't really know who's gonna win a single match like nah, no. any meaningful match i have no clue yeah there's a lot of variables you want to get the uh the easy one the nothing my sure drew mcintyre versus mad cat moss obviously mad cat obviously Drew. It's on the card to, to propel it's the up. new year for Matt yeah, Cap, Matt obviously. Winning the Rumble. Yeah, no, it's yeah, Drew. Yeah, it's, it's Drew. Drew. Yeah. It, this match is on the card this to is, get uh, Drew on the card. This is Drew and Jinder all over again. This is, we Summer needed Slam. Drew McIntyre on the card, yep. so here he is. Yep. That's um, it. I don't really have much to say about it. That's the it. The only thing that could possibly go wrong is a distraction from Corbin. I think he still wins. Yeah, so I don't I don't see a way Drew McIntyre loses, really. Yeah. And that's that match. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Yeah, cool. One and uh, <laughs> day one. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that'd be bad. Yeah. Edge versus Miz. People might not like this one, but uh, I'm going with the Miz. I'm also going with the Miz. Yeah, okay. I because think, I think you have to get this to a mixed tag match. Yeah, this is going to... You kind of called this one when Beth mm-hmm. retired retired from NXT. Yeah. Um, it Every week it looks more and more likely that we're getting to Miz and Maurice versus Edge and Beth Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Probably Mania. Probably, it's, I don't know how. Wild. I don't know how they get it that far, but I feel like that's something. I they would, hope not. It would be much better resolved earlier because I think Edge could do a better much, match. I mean, much. Better. I think Edge and Finn at Mania would be fun. Yes. So let's hope it doesn't get to that. But you know how WWE is with their name stars, yeah, and so. and matches. Yeah. But yeah, going with the Miz because I believe it's getting yeah. to that yeah, mixed tag match. I um, if I had to guess, probably going to be like a distraction from Maurice. Oh yeah, for sure. That's it. For sure. Okay, the Raw Tag Team Championships, RK Bro versus Street Profits. Um, I'm gonna go RK Bro. I think they retain. I think they're too much of a staple on Raw right now. Yeah, they're kind of not. They're not. I mean, they're basically like the main feud on Raw. Riddle's they're at least the most duty. important group on Raw for sure. Mm-hmm. So I definitely think they retain. Street Profits are good. They'll give them a really, really good match. Um, I just don't... I mean, it, Oh, boy. You want to know what's going to happen? The is, problem with tag teams that aren't really tag teams is it's pretty obvious when they're going to lose, and I don't think we're at that point yet. No, you're right. And Montez is going to take probably the sickest RKO of all time. Oh, 100%. I don't know what, they're, what oh, they have in store. I know. He's going to go for one of his crazy Splash, frog splashes yeah. and get RKO'd out of the building. Yeah. 
if Randy's going to meet him five feet above the ropes. <laughs> um, that is probably how the match ends yeah. because they love RKO. He's probably going to get nowhere. RKO'd onto Riddle. He's going to be hitting the splash on Riddle, and Randy's going to RKO him on the way down. Okay. Or he pops up and does the Evan Bourne one. Whatever. Yeah, either one. <laughs> well, either, either one. way. That's the gonna, Evan Bourne one was sick. That is going to be how the match ends. Yeah. I don't think that uh, the Street Profits win. No. I love. I am a huge Street Profits fan. Yeah. They're probably my favorite tag team on Raw more than uh, RK Bro. No, I definitely like them more than RK but Bro. Dawkins I, leaves a little bit to be desired for me, for you, but he's yeah. still good. But I do think that the RK Bro retains I think it. if his Spine Buster was better, because mm-hmm. it's very bad. Yeah. But his finisher is cool though. I like no, it's that. very cool. I like his finisher a lot. Also, the the spinning clothes on the corner has to yeah, go. Yeah, I don't like that. Has to go. Maybe the worst move in wrestling. Maybe worse than the uh, the double clothesline spot. No, that spot is the worst. Oh, but okay. the the, the spinning, single move. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, RK Bro. Also, real quick. Okay. Total throwback. Trippy Stratton, flatliner finisher. Oh, flatliner cool. finisher. Yes. Very cool. I liked it. Right. Yeah. Fair. It's cool to see. And, like, this is, you know, whatever classic wrestling fan. But it's cool to see, like, when the women pull out, like, big man moves. Or like, just, like, moves you don't see anymore. Yeah, right? like... Because, like, the only person to do a flatliner is, like, Bobby. Is Bobby. Lashley. Yeah, yeah, it's Bobby Lashley. Yeah. Or, like, when Bianca's, like, gorilla pressing people. It's, yeah. like, yeah. sick. That's cool. Yeah. Sick. All right. All right. Moving on. Raw Women's Championship. Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. And this is... I have a lot of problems picking this one. This is Braun Breaker versus Tommaso Ciampa. If Liv loses, she is not the next woman up. She is not the next next woman up. She is not even the next 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 woman up. Liv loses this match. She falls to the back of the line. It doesn't matter if it's clean, if it's dirty. It doesn't matter. If she loses again, we cannot run this back. We cannot run this back. Okay. And that doesn't matter to me because I'm still taking Becky. Yeah, I'm taking Becky I'm as well. I'm still taking Becky. Um, because I think if she wins, it has to be at Mania. They have four months to get her back to the top of the mountain. Which will not be hard in that division. You're probably right. She get, wins a couple here and there, beats Bianca, she's back. Yeah. Because I don't think this win is as meaningful at this pay-per-view. Unless, because they did say they want day one to be a staple now as a pay-per-view. They I, try to make a big switch. Not as big as this is not the big switch. This is not it. This is not the big switch. The big switch might be an unfortunate one, but (laughs) we'll talk about that later. Uh, But yeah, this match will be good. Yeah, Becky and Liv have good chemistry. Yeah, Becky can carry nearly anyone to a good match. Liv is good. No, no, yeah, Yeah, absolutely. But Becky doesn't get enough credit for being like the in ring leader that she's very good. She could carry almost anyone to a good match. Um, I don't. I think she gets overshadowed a little bit because she wrestles Charlotte so often. Right, and Charlotte's so good. And Charlotte's like a top ten talent. Yeah, but Becky is, I think. Yeah, Becky is the number Becky two. Becky is woman two on the or roster. three, depending on if Oscar's healthy. Yes, Oscar is. No- and mm-hmm. I think the two to three gap is closer than people think it is. The two to three gap is a lot closer than the one to two to three gap. One hundred percent. Because yeah. the one to two to three gap is a glaring gap. Yeah. But I think the difference between Asuka and Becky isn't as wide as people tend to say it is. And maybe that's just because, like, Asuka's such a fan favorite or whatever, mm. or Becky's always on TV, so you don't even notice how good she is. Yeah. But, like, Becky's damn good. Becky's real good. Yeah. But I think Becky wins. I think... Yeah. It's... I think this is very similar to Dan O'Brien. I think that... Liv has to climb the mountain one more time to mm, get it. I think Liv can get close. Liv can do, like, you know, one of these where it's like, shoulders were down for two and a half, two and three quarters, but yeah. at the end of the day, it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Um, yeah, I... Be the man, you gotta beat the yeah, man. That's it, and I, I... It's not time. I find myself, and maybe this is just because we just did this match, I find myself not as interested in the feud. I think I'm more interested now, actually. Really? Because... You never. This need... is the least confident I am in Becky winning, yeah. even though I think she's going to. Yeah, Liv was never winning the first one. Never so winning the first. That's one. true. So now I think there is a shot. Liv mm-hmm. wins. Like I'm yeah. not like, oh, Becky's winning for sure. Mm-hmm. I think she wins because I think the moment's bigger if Liv yes. wins at like a Mania type pay per view. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what the the fallout is. Um, because I think. I mean, we both did predict it, but I'm pretty confident Becky wins. Yeah. So we'll see. I think the... if Liv wins now, she gets a good pop. I think if she loses, climbs her way back and wins at like Mania. Yeah. Crowd might lose their mind. So what the problem is, if she wins now, she 
definitely loses at Mania. 100%. And it's right 100%. back to Becky. Yeah, yeah, no. So yeah. She might even lose at the Rumble. Yeah, she might not even make it to Mania. Yeah, that's that's what I'm concerned about. Because if she wins, yeah. I wanted at least like them to give her a chance. Yeah, have a and small... right after Mania season, yeah. if she doesn't lose on Raw after Mania... Yeah. You tend to hold your title at least to around SummerSlam. Yes. So that'll at least give them a real opportunity to see how good she really is. Yeah. So. Okay. And for that reason, all of those reasons, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Um, Big time Bex. Now this, the match we've all we've seen all but too often. Yeah. The SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Yeah, this is a hard choice. The Usos and the New Day. And I don't want to say that the outcome of this match would influence my decision for the next match. But it will. But it will. 100% it will. Because, as we've spoken about on prior pay-per-views, if the Usos win but Roman loses, there is no more head of the table. The yeah. gimmick is done. Here's, but, I'll go first yeah. if you picked a few in a row. Go ahead. I'm going to pick the New Day. Because I think the walls are closing in on Roman. I think, you know, the vultures are getting hungry. Mm -hmm. They're going to start picking the bones pretty soon. There's sharks in the water. Sharks are in the water, blood. smelling blood. When the wise man turns on them, everyone starts to turn on them. But here's, okay, so I have two polar opposite opinions on what's going to happen for that match. Mm -hmm. But I think the Usos losing is going to be kind of where the descent within the family begins. Starting with Paul, you know, I think it'll move to the Usos. But we'll see. I think New Day wins. So playing out that theory, I can kind of assume where you're going for the next match. But, okay. Um, I do not want the Usos to lose. I don't want them like, to lose. I do not want the New Day as champion again. again. Yeah. And... Selfishly, I will pick the Usos because wow, I do okay. not want to see this match again. Okay. And, and if they lose, they, they yeah, will they have this rematch go. immediately. On the bright side for that, I believe it'll just be on SmackDown. Yeah. And but, then it'll be over. But still, I don't want to see it again. And I think that if the Usos lose, it will be, I think you're giving it a one-off. It will be nonstop Maybe. of the New Day just harassing the bloodline. Maybe. And as entertaining as Woods and Kofi could be, I have about had it. Yeah. With like, and not with them entirely. Them and the Usos. But them and the Usos and Roman, it's yeah. I've had about enough. Yeah. And it's tough because SmackDown doesn't have the talent but to the thing do many is, other this things. This has been since early November now, because even before that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've had about enough, but I'm gonna stay with the New Day. I am taking the Usos. Okay. And while I agree that your storyline is compelling and would play itself out straight to mania the time frame would line up perfectly <sighs> just i don't think yet and i don't think to the new day okay i don't know who else if anyone else okay um and I, no that's, i mean i i i don't i'm not sure i'm I, not sure i don't know it's i'm very my issue is I could it. see, like I said, with the walls closing yeah. in on Roman, I could see that happening by Mania. Mm -hmm. I could see him holding it till 2025. Yes. I could logically see both of those things happening. Yeah. So it is crazy because this is the most likely Roman is to lose the belt. Yeah. Right? Like, Brock Lesnar, all this, the, the, car, the tower of cards is falling. Paul is turned on you. The world is upside down for the head of the table right yeah. now. SmackDown, the last live SmackDown before day one, ended with Roman on his back. Yep. Doesn't happen very often. Does not happen very often. No, it does not. So, could Roman lose? Absolutely. It seems highly the likely. The most likely yeah. in his run so far. Yeah. I don't think it happens. I don't. I'm, I'm going with Roman Reigns. Okay. Are we doing that right now? Are we picking I'm that just now? saying because I okay. think that if the New Day won... Well, let's do, might, might as well yeah. if we're already talking let's about it. Let's just do it. Let's get into it. So, the way I see it is... The Usos' outcome, uh, it doesn't necessarily influence Roman, right? So no, not if, necessarily. If the New Day wins, Roman can still win and be fine. Yeah. If the Usos win, which I think so, that means Roman has to win. 
Because maybe. Or, I mean, it could go the other way. I think that's that, also a very compelling story. The dissent could be the other way. It's like, you're the head of the table, but you lost your ten- your titles, we didn't lose ours. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not a bad storyline. So, my first option was the walls closing in, the sharks are circling mm-hmm. on Roman. My second option is that Paul is wiser than all of us. And, like I've said before, sometimes you gotta, you gotta take one for the family. Yeah. And throw everyone off the scent. Mm-hmm. Take that punch to the face. And, and then, understand that it's better in the long run. And then you undermine Brock. I don't know which one is more likely. I almost think that is because if it doesn't go that way, the Paul Heyman arc is over. Yes. So now it's just Paul and Brock again. and that If uh, Paul if, goes back to Yeah, Brock. if Brock even takes him, you yeah. know, whatever it is. Um, and I think your way that you just explained is more entertaining for the long run. Mm-hmm. Like... We got everyone. We fooled you. You were all the sheep watching us for four weeks thinking, yeah. did I do that? Did I? Yeah. Well, not even four weeks, four months. We talked about yeah. this. Had they had like the segments of Roman like, hey, Paul, go do this. Yeah. Kind of stuff. Like if they just revealed it all backstage yeah. after the fact. Um, so I am going to go with Roman. I'm going to go with Roman as well. Uh, and I'm shaky on it. I'm going with the I'm bloodline with all the way through, though. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm throwing the ones up. You know me. I'm a needle mover, right? I, I'm a... I'm a tribal chief. I, I acknowledge also believe, currently, my mm-hmm. opinion will definitely be different tomorrow. Yeah. But currently, I think Drew is winning the Rumble and beating Roman in Mania. Right now. Literally right now, I think that's what happens. That could literally be different tomorrow, but that's my current opinion. That's of. the first time I'm hearing this take. Yeah, this is, yeah, I was that's reading some insane. stuff today. This is what I think happens. Wow. You got to send me whatever you were reading. Yeah. I need to see that. Yeah. I don't think that. Again, it could be. <laughs> I, it will be a very different opinion tomorrow. Especially come time for the Royal Rumble. Yeah. I bet, but I don't but think right that. now, that's what I think was the most likely uh-huh. Roman loss to happen. Yeah. Because whoever beats Roman... It's got to be big. ...is the now the biggest baby face in the last 25 years. It's got to be big. got to be huge. And I huge. don't think Brock fits that mold. No, because Brock is... You know, he's Brock. Like, he's not a baby face. Whoever beats a Roman he's... is carrying that momentum for a long time. Yeah. Brock doesn't really need that. So, without getting too derailed here mm-hmm. into the, the Royal Rumble, I think, you know, Brock wins the Royal Rumble. But that's just... That's for Bob? Yeah. So, you think Bob. Bob's winning? Well, let's get into it. It's the last match, right? It's the last match. All right. The Fatal There's a lot way. going... Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. There's a lot going on around this match. Yeah. Because I don't know if Seth's even going to be able to be in it. I believe he is fine. He is. They have not said a thing about canceling this match yet. And okay. this, I know we know Seth had COVID. Right. So it is Wednesday. There is time for things to go sour. Time. Yeah, but but they have not said a thing about you know adjusting this match. As of WWE Instagram today, they were running a a little like who do you think is going to win with the four boxes? Okay. So so for now we'll assume Seth is in it. Yes. We will if information comes out we'll change our picks on social mm-hmm. media. We'll uh, update accordingly. I think this is the hardest match to choose. Incredibly challenging. And I love it. I love that about it. And I said it last week. I'll say it again. There is only one person that cannot win this match, and that's our current champion. Big E is, in my opinion, the only person that cannot leave as champion. Okay. Which probably means he will. Yeah. But That tends to happen. That tends to be what happens. Um I really don't know. I, I really do not know. It seems that the way they brought Bobby back and made him get into this match, that they have big plans for Bobby Lashley. Yeah. And maybe that's us as, as you know, fans, as commenters on, on wrestling, looking too deep into it. Potentially. But, but why Adam? But he just ran through the raw main the thing, event. Why Adam? Him? If not for if that. If not to win. I, I don't know. There was no story for him to get in. There the Kevin Owens story was there. None. Seth won yep. the ladder match. There mm-hmm. was no story for Bobby to be there. Bobby came back and said, I want to be in it, so I'm in it. Yeah. I. Are you picking Bobby? Okay. So I think Bobby wins. I'm, I'm going with Bobby. Okay. I'm going to lock in Bobby. Okay. Who I want to win is Seth Rollins. I think he is the least likely person to win. Yes. Agreed. And that's why I went with Bobby. Okay. But I want Seth to win. I think in order of least likely to most likely. It's You, you want my order first? Sure. I think Bobby. Bobby. Most likely? Most likely. Okay. So, 
Bobby, Biggie, Kevin Owens. At the Seth. exact same yeah, way. Okay. Because Kevin Owens and Seth Are got their own kind thing. Kind of a going. tag team. Yeah, they got their own thing now. Um, and if either of them wins, that gets thrown off yeah. right away. Um, Biggie has been champion. I would say, in my opinion, it has been less than compelling. Yeah. It hasn't yeah. been the draw that Bobby they, was, yeah, that, no. that Roman is. Yeah. Um, and I think that they are kind of desperate. Football's coming to an end. They want people to tune back in to WWE. And what better way to get views? That's a, that's a big, big guy, literally and figuratively, yeah, big, big guy to have with Rumble season. Yeah. Bobby Lashley sells. Yes, you talk does. about needle movers. It's like, yeah, Roman, obviously. But the casual fan, if you see Bobby Lashley, you're like, that's believable. Yeah. That's a big guy. Not that Big E's small, but Bobby and, Lashley's and, got the history. And you're gonna you're not gonna like this one. Mm-hmm. Big E losing also sets up for potentially him beating Roman at Mania if he wins the Kurt Rumble as well. Because that that while that feud is gone, it's not it's not dead. It's not the loose ends are not tied up. Right. I would probably stop watching if that happened. I would literally, this podcast would be over. We would no longer be the rest hold. I'll it do would, a bomb. Yeah, it would be a one-man per, a one man right. show. It'd be right. um, we'll take callers. <laughs> everyone's going to call in, hey, why did that happen? And you're going to say, I don't know. I have no uh, idea. It but shouldn't have. I think that opens the door for that, potentially. Yeah. My, I don't, I don't want to pick against Big E. I really don't. I really don't want to pick and against Big E. Listen to this. Every time there is a multi-person match for the title, I I have no statistic to back this up. None. Zero. I feel like the champion always wins. And they do win like, a lot. Always win. A retains. lot. Like, they I would say like 75% of the time. They retain often. Like three quarters of the, t- of the time, I Which would say. Which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Right. Because the odds are always stacked and against no, you. No, also like it's yeah. a good way to protect your champion yeah. by losing. It's just, I'm going to go with Big E. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Big E. Yeah. And, I have to. It's it's. And, I because in my head I saw them beating up Bobby and getting him out. But then I also saw Bobby doing like the Brock Lesnar thing where he comes back. But I could see like a. I I picture Kevin Owens doing some wild stunt and putting Bobby through oh, the table and then Big yeah. E beating Seth. That's how I pictured. There, there's happen. three things in life that are guaranteed: death, taxes, and Kevin Owens taking a ridiculous spot. Yeah. So Kevin so, Owens is gonna go. I crazy. think he's putting Bobby through a table in some capacity, yeah. and then Big E beats Seth. That's what I'm locking in. It is definitely not the most unlikely scenario. Um, I'm, I'm going with Bobby, like I said, but that's just a selfish pick. Like I just, yeah, want, no, I, like, I also I want Bobby. Yeah, this is this is very similar to my Bobby Goldberg pick. Mm. Really wanted Bobby, but knew but we knew, yeah, and knew was going to be Goldberg. Yeah, I feel like Big E is not ready to lose the belt yet. I feel like he's getting there. I, I just, but I feel like not yet. I don't know how much longer he can wait. So like. I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just I don't like him, but he just does not get across to me. Also, but also at the Rumble tends to be a lot of the times people lose their belts. Yeah, true. To set up, set up the mania. whole new feud. Yeah. yeah. So I think he gets one more. But I mean, that's just what I think. What's the match then? I don't know. Yeah, could uh, be a lot of things. I don't know. Yeah, it could go literally four ways. It could go anything. Yeah. So, all right. I guess that's uh that's, that's the prediction that's episode. The predictions, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, why don't you guys let us know your thoughts. Yeah, let, let us, us know. know what matches you're looking forward to the most. For sure. Let us know who you think leaves champion. Yeah. Tell us why it's not Big E, because we need to hear that. Yeah. Tell us why it is Roman. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, interact with us. We're all over Twitter, yeah. all over Instagram. So all the uh, links are down in the description yep. for social media, mm-hmm. Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. Spotify, however you want to listen. Mm-hmm. Let us know. Thanks for... Uh, Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, and check back uh, next week for the updated records to yes. see who gets the stranglehold yes. on the division. Yes. Keep All a lookout right. Friday for the, for the boxes. Oh, yes, the Royal Rumble box. Royal Rumble box. Coming Friday. Coming Friday. Huge right, guys. news, guys. Peace. Peace.